Uh, so um, in this video, we are going to create our EGS templates. We're going to create head, body, and footer templates. So um, let's go ahead and do that. So right click on Instagram app, new file. All right. So um, and you're going to press, eh, sorry, right click and create a new folder. And you're going to name it views. So in a view folder, you're going to create another folder and I'm going to name it pages and now we have pages and create another folder and I'm going to name it partials so we have two different folders so pages is basically like the main pages like um, home contact and stuff like that uh, partials are the things that we don't want to change like the nav bar the footer and probably those two things really important things that we don't want to change at all just want it to be the same in every single HTML page so um first we're gonna create an index.ejs index.ejs so if you are using sublime go down here plain text and change it to HTML all right so after we have done that let's type in the basic html all right so you're going to type in all of this all right and um here you're going to type in class container and then we are going to type in header and then main and then footer right so once we have typed in all of this this is all the partials that I'm talking about head, header and footer and as well as another partial here will be all our CSS file JavaScript and maybe and probably Twitter bootstrap file and let's go ahead and do that go to partial and right click new file right and um, press save and you name it head EJS. The reason why I said change plain text to HTML if you the reason why because if you input any HTML tag it will treat it as white color as plain text. So we don't want that. It's not you know not nice. So you're gonna go down here and you're gonna change it to HTML. Alright. So once you have done that, matter char set equals to UTF 8 okay and then you're gonna put a title here photo application and then you're gonna type in link rel equals to style sheet alright and then hrf equals to the bootstrap which we're gonna add it just a minute and a link rel equals to style shit hrf equals to css style dot css we're gonna create a css a custom css file later on so press save and um, we're gonna add it here so I'm gonna pause and search for the CDN for so you can go ahead to bootstrap CDN and you can copy paste this one go back here and you're gonna paste it here and you're gonna change a bootstrap to boot swatch right 
And then you're going to change CSS to Cosmo. So once you have done that, you can press save. And I'll see you guys in the next video where we're going to create the header and footer. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye.